Hey y'all, I'm Jules. Welcome back to another episode of Spirit Sherpa, the show that helps and encourages you on your journey to unlock your magic mojo. With me as always is the Spirit Doctor, Kelly Sparta. Hello, Kelly. How's it going? It's going great. The, the rains have started to come back to Panama. I'm super excited. I love, I love the rain. It's so cleansing. Very nice. Now, We've been in the dry season. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Now, are there yeah. more bugs or less bugs when the rains come? Or about the same? I haven't really noticed a difference in the bug factor. We, we get fewer spiders in the house when there are a bit more rains because they come in looking for water. So thankfully, we haven't seen any scorpions. But there are scorpions somewhere. Oh, yeah. They need to be on the outside. The spiders outside. have been enough. <laughs> Yeah, the spiders have been enough. They they're they're big. Yeah, you have they're like big. like they're like they're like that they're big, big like yeah. banana like in Louisiana we have like yeah. banana spiders that's like huge, and yeah. it's like this big yellow thing that you just run up into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're they're big and they crunch. So it's like oh yeah. So happy to not have them in the house for much longer. So that would be good. Even though spiders might totem. It's like spiders are very territorial and, uh, and in nature. So even though spiders might totem, it's okay for me to kill a spider every now and again, because <laughs> it's my territory, right? They will kill each other in each other's territory. So it's okay. I go, thank you for the knowledge. Got to go now. Yeah. Thank you for the, yep. for the attention. Yeah. Well, and it's kind of like what I say at my house. Outside, you're fine. Inside, yes. you will die. So <laughs> let's just stay outside. <laughs> I've already had this discussion. Do, do not come in my house. You know, it, yeah. it's, it's kind of like if you're scaring the bejeebus out of me and I'm in the shower and all of a sudden you fall on my right. head and I slip and fall. Yeah. No, 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 no. You're going to die. Mm -mm. So let's just stay outside yeah. and we're good. We can visit outside. We can visit on the patio. We can visit in the forest. We're good. Stay out my house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now that we've, we've established that. Yes. We have a guest today. We have an awesome guest today. Um, we have Eugenia Oga uh, Oganova. 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 There we go. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Yes. So tell us about Eugenia. Well, she is a business strategist, a transcension mentor, and a quantum messaging energetics coach with over 20 years of experience. She is a self-made millionaire. I want insight on how to do that part. Um, and a best-selling author of three books. She has been featured in over 100 networks and publications, and she specialized in activating soul design profit potential and wealth energetics to help conscious leaders and coaches sustainably scale into multiple six and seven figure figures without forcing themselves to work harder by weaving masculine business strategy to feminine quantum energetics and customizing with their unique soul design and mission. She is not your typical business coach, okay? No. No. Um, she's clairvoyant and uses her extraordinary abilities to support her clients in addition to solid business strategies. Welcome, Eugenia. Well, thank you, girls, for having me. I'm very excited for this chat. This is awesome. Well, we're, we're excited to talk to you because, uh, you know, we're here. We are all about marrying the energetics, you know, the, the sort of the grounded woo approach to life, right? It's, it's like you, you want to use the energetics, but you want to stay grounded in reality so that you can actually manifest something. Right. Um, so I'm super excited to hear your take on it. Uh, and so tell us a little bit about the approach that you take in terms, you know, if you start working with somebody, what is it that you look for? Well, the main thing is always to make sure that whatever energy you're expanding into your business is in alignment with how your natural flow goes. Most of the time, it's just shocking to me to see how people 
who generally are in individual leadership and power position within who they are, like they accomplished enough individuals, when they start a business or when they kind of try to <clears throat> grow their business, they go into, but somebody tells me this is the way. So they sort of like suddenly right. give their power away to some cookie cutter strategy, try to apply that. It feels like a straight jacket because it's too tight. It doesn't fit. And then they either work harder because we're all conditioned to be good girls and you know persevere and have tenacity to succeed anyway despite all odds but we hurt ourselves in the process and end up burning out or they give up because that just doesn't feel aligned and that might mean i'm not right for this or business is not my thing and so on so what i do is essentially bypass all of that as a shortcut directly into who are you, what are you meant to be here, what are you learning, what are you bringing, what is your gift, what is your unique thing, what is your expertise. Now, that's the place on which you build your business. So essentially, yeah. without knowing all those things and just going into business based on skills, it's a absolutely a recipe for a disaster. The difference between skills and soul expertise, which is what I help my clients figure out through their soul design, um, is that skills is something you learned. So you went to school, you got some certification, then another one, then another one, and another one, and you never quite feel ready because you've done so many things, and somehow it's still not all quite together, and you're not sure how to charge for it, and you're not sure how to talk about it, and then you use some templated message, and in the end you just feel kind of crappy because it still doesn't fit. What soul expertise is, is something you came with, something you didn't have to learn at all, something that you absolutely natural at that you can fully claim, own, and charge a lot for because this is naturally where you stand frequency-wise. So this is the bridging sort of of material and non-material. And my whole life is, you know, non-material is sort of part of my existence just as far as, as much as material is. But I find it very funny when people kind of separate like out there, it's all this energetic stuff, but down here it's grounded business strategy. And it's like, what do you think business strategy is based on? The entire marketing and business is based on human psychology. And what do you think human psychology is based on? Energetics. So I just go directly to the root of the energetical flow and what attracts people to you so that you're embodying the correct frequency. And because of it, your marketing message has the correct words that clearly articulate the value of your work which then compels people to come to you instead of you, like a chicken with a head cut off running around chasing your clients. They arrive to you and they not freak out about your fee. They totally happy to pay you your fee because they can resonate with the value because when you do this type of work with the soul design alignment, you attract people who on a soul level already contracted to work with you. So you're not looking for everybody. You're looking for very specific souls that already said yes to you before you were even born. And all you have to do is really own your gift and show up and claim who you are and stop apologizing for your existence and for awesomeness that you are and really be big. When you do that, then your frequency naturally embodies correct resonance. And the rest is yes, some business strategy, some marketing strategy, of course, some sales strategy, that's a requirement in having a business, but that's kind of secondary. So I definitely know business marketing and messaging and all of that, I'm a business coach, but I utilize the other side to make all this business stuff <clears throat> customized. So you're wearing an outfit that's right for you instead of a cookie cutter strategy that feels too tight. It's like, imagine if you're wearing shoes that are a size too small. This is the shoes you got in $300 course you purchased or from some coach that told you this is how I did it and this is what you need to do it. So you got those shoes and now you're walking in them and you're thinking, what's wrong with me? Why can't I walk as fast as I normally could? You know, what's wrong with me? Why am I so exhausted? So what I do is yeah, I say, let's I, throw I, away those shoes and have the ones that are custom made for you. Now you can do yeah. all the magic things you know you can do in your being, but you're actually enjoying your business. Yeah, and that makes perfect sense. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, I've been doing this work for oh so, so many years. Oh, my God. And I've done so many courses over the years. And, I, you know, they all say roughly the same thing. And they all end up in a space where you're like, you know, you're often stuck because you don't know 
how to choose your focus and you don't know how to, you know, and it took me years to come up with my focus, years and years of evolve, 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 right? And these days it's even worse because there's so many people out there saying, oh, follow my system. And all they've done is copy somebody else's system. They've never actually made money at it themselves, right? And so that's that's one of the biggest challenges when you're out there looking for somebody to work with is is that. I have to say that in all of my years of, of doing all these different courses, I have never heard anyone say that you have you made a sole contract with people to work with you before you came in. And it makes perfect sense to me now that you say it, but I've never heard it said before. And so that is unique unto itself. So I'm, I'm impressed. So tell me, um, <clears throat> so a lot of our people are just getting started, right? So they're, they're probably doing one-off uh, sessions and, and working one-on-one -on -one if they're doing coaching or uh, if they're teaching, they're teaching, you know, a little class here and a little class there and a little class there. And, and you know, they're trying to find a focus. So what, what sort of advice would you give them? Well, I would say that first of all, when you're just starting, you do need to have some experience. So doing one-off sessions is a way to get that experience because you kind of have to like know what you're good at. So the people I work with are the ones who already been doing that for a while, maybe a year or two, and they know they're good. They have their clients practically writing them love notes, how amazing it was to have an appointment with them. But what they don't know is how do you go from here to actually like being able to generate 10,000, 20,000 a month. That's kind of the beginner level of actually calling it a business is to be at six figures. Anything underneath that, it's sort of more of a hobby. So how do you make this into a business that feels like, okay, I can feel like I'm officially a business owner? Well, that means that you, first of all, have to upgrade your energetic understanding of reality before you upgrade your business strategy and everything else, which of course is also needed. But what I mean by upgrading your understanding of reality is to shift from, first of all, that you don't want people to pay you for your time. You want people to pay you for your frequency. That's a very different thing. It's not even pay you for a result because result client generates themselves by being in your frequency. So that shifts the perspective from, oh, I need a different business strategy or I need to like know how to say the perfect marketing message, which yes, you do eventually. But the origin here, the anchoring point is who are you? What frequency are you bringing? And are you actually embodying it? Because if you're not embodying it, by embodying, I mean, you're, lit, you're being a role model of that frequency. You're actually in your being, you're exhibiting that vibration. So if you're teaching personal transformation, have you dealt with your own shit? Have you faced your shadow? If you're dealing with, let's say, uh, nutrition, are you eating healthy? <laughs> And if you're not, are you in self-judgment or are you capable of actually loving yourself through that and then help your clients through that? So first is always the self-upgrade is to understand that. And that shifts you from, oh, they're going to come and spend time with me for an hour and I'm going to do something into they can sit in my frequency for one minute and get the result. Or they can sit in my frequency for three months and get the result. Then it becomes more like, okay, what do I want to teach? And most of us that are in this personal transformation niche one way or another, we naturally teaching something. We want to educate and uplift consciousness and help people wake up. So that means we need to figure out our methodology. So that's again, before any business strategy or anything, do you know what is your method? Because if you think, well, I don't know, they just come and something happens, that's not sellable ever. So it has no. to be that you understand what is it you're doing. It might be, I come in, I tune into your energy, then my field opens up, then the energy guide comes in, then I start channeling something, then you ask me a question, and then we go into this level of your field, this level of your field, and this level of your field, and then this happens. That's kind of a really basic thing. Or if it's, let's say, about weight loss, then it could be, well, we first do this assessment, then we do this, then we figure out this <coughs> strategy, then we do this, then you have this homework. So there has to be understanding of your own process and every single thing has a process because we're living in a third dimension and has linear time. So there's so many people who came to me and said, I don't know, it's just kind of like out there somewhere. No, if you're in a third dimension, it's here too. So that means literally this moment to the next moment, something occurs and it's your job. Nobody else's, no coach can do that for you. 
you have to figure out your process. This is your methodology. So now we have what is your expertise, and we have what is your methodology. And with that, you are ready to adjust your business strategy. And that is changeable depending on your soul design. For most people, I say that if you're the type that doesn't want to have millions and millions of followers and sell $27 courses, but you actually want to get to this higher level income faster and do deep level work and you feel like you're an expert in it, then you want less clients and higher fees. So that means you're shifting from the lower level messaging to a higher frequency, higher vibe, higher parameter, sort of higher standard messaging. And that's one of the biggest mistakes that I see at this moment that people make is that they assume that the session that they were selling for 500, they can just put a zero on it, make it 5,000, and now use the same messaging. And why is it not selling or why is people telling them it's too much money? What they, or they feel out of integrity and they will never do that and then they just don't know how to get to that next level. So what I usually do is we create a program based on a methodology that you figure out you have and your soul expertise that is based on your natural soul design. That embodies the frequency through which your ideal client's meant to come to you. And then we put, because of all this expertise, a different price tag on it. Let's say 7,000. Now you only need one client a month every month you just sign one client one client means maybe one appointment a week okay so that's not you know being busy 40 hours a week that's one appointment a week the rest is marketing and creative process that frees your energy and puts it in a different flow altogether and then from that place you are able to create the type of life you want so in the work that i do is pretty much this process. It's what is your mission, what is your soul design, how you're made, what is your expertise, how do we kind of clarify your methodology out of that, and then what offer do you have? If you don't have one, let's create one. If you do, let's adjust it a bit to match it. What price tag should this offer have versus whatever you have on it? And then what words do you need to use? What energy system you need to use within yourself and the type of marketing like video marketing or events in person and whatever else in order to show up with that energy to attract the people to come into you? Yeah. And, and this is, uh, Kathy and I have said this for years and, uh, you haven't met Kathy, but Kathy is, uh, the person that I run my retreats with. Uh, and she's been a regular guest on the show, but for years we've said people need to have an experience of us, right? They, in order to really get what we do, they need an experience of who we are. And so, you know, we've come to that with things like the sound healings that we do and, you know, the smaller uh, workshop environments and things like that, because people need to have an experience of it. You, it's, you could talk till you're blue in the face, but until somebody has that moment of going, holy crap, this woman is the real deal, right? Then, then they don't, they're not going to spend the same kind of money as they will if they realize that. Right. And, and that experience, you know, no matter how good your sales page. Right. But that experience can come through different ways, depending on one's design. For some people, it's in person. Look, their body has to be in front of their type of audience for them to recognize them. For other people, it's on a video. So their body has to be in front of them and their sound, but they don't have to be physically there. For other people, it's actually in writing. Some people are absolutely amazing at writing copy and you don't need to see them. You just need to read that copy and say, okay, this is totally my person. The words are just like juicy. I can feel them I, like this is it. So understanding your way and utilizing that mm, natural way is very important. One of the biggest mistakes in this area is that people over teach. They go out there and they teach and teach and teach and they have people who say, oh my God, thank you so much. This was the most amazing workshop or webinar or, and thank you. I learned so much. And then they leave and never pay you for anything further. So one of the things that I teach my clients is how to balance out your presentation with marketing so that you're actually marketing and not teaching. That's not to say that you're not impacting you know, people, not bringing through some wisdom. Of course you are, because we always want to deliver value and a lot of it. If something, we over deliver value all the time. But how do you deliver value in a way that you have some strategy behind it that brings people to recognize that they want more from you and they want to work with you versus being 
kind of overstuffed with the information and then feeling like either, okay, I've got this or wow, this was so much. I took so many notes. Now let me go process all of that for next six months and then maybe I'll remember you, maybe not. Um, so we want to make sure that whatever we're bringing forward is actually the type of energy that is appropriate for the type of person who's listening or who's physically in front of us. Yeah. And that's something we learned the hard way too. <laughs> So, because Kathy and I are fire hosers, so I, I love to fire hose people with way too much information, and so that was one of the things that, that I had to walk through as well. We, we we had an introductory event that we did years ago that we did this amazing event, and people came out saying, oh my God, this what is a $4,000 event for which we charged very little money, like under 500 bucks, and then, you know, getting people to sign up on the back end, they were so full with what they had gotten from their intro event that they they were just like, I, no, I need to think about this before I can't do anything else. Right. You know. And so, yeah, I've, I've been there. I've been yeah, there. And I find that the so, further up you go in income, the simpler it gets versus more complicated. So the marketing changes, like the language of marketing changes and presentation, just like you're saying when you're speaking to somebody who you're trying to sell, uh, let's say $500 program, that's very different than if you're um, presenting someone an opportunity to invest in 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, hundred thousand dollar program. Those are very different people. It's not just different words you yeah. use. It's a different person who's looking for something different. And I think we women tend to overcompensate a lot with this feeling like, Oh, but if I'm, gonna give them this for 10,000, I'm gonna give them everything and my firstborn, <laughs> like everything. Right. When actually what they need is much less because they hiring you for a different reason. And one of the biggest secrets yes. is that the reason is not whatever it is that's in your program. <laughs> this is what most people kind of don't get when they starting is that like, oh, I have to make my program even more amazing. It's like, no, you have to make sure you are fully as amazing as you're meant to be. And the more amazing you are, the more you can charge for whatever it is you're doing. And for me, I always said that people can sit around me and I would, I don't know, I can sing nursery rhymes and they will still get transformation because my energy field embodies abundance code. It's embodying the wealth energetics and people leave and they have naturally a different experience in their reality. They start to create miracles and they're like, how, how, what, what just happened? But what happened is that they got energetically upgraded. And of course, if you have the program that also has a really good structure, that's like huge, but the first component of that is not how amazing my program is because they're not hiring the program. They hiring you. Right. Yes. And, and this wow. is one of the things that, that I have heard before, but it's also, it's so funny because, um, I've been through this process too, where I've created these, the, this very high end program. And then I presented it to a friend of mine who's in my target market. And he said, I don't want any of it. He said, I just want to be able to pick up the phone and call you whenever I need you. And I went, Oh, that's easy. <laughs> like he's like, even better. I'd rather do it over Marco Polo because we're, we have a time difference between us. And he's like, you know, I just want to make a video and have you answer me. That's all I want. And I'm like, well, shit, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> and that feels so beautiful to me at the same time, right? It feels so great to me to have that process because I can answer it when I feel, uh, you know, energized around it, when I feel like it's the right time to answer because sometimes it's not the right time to answer right away, right? And then I don't also feel scheduled, overscheduled, right? So when you're talking about finding a way that, that feels good for your beingness, that that actually fits in that regard. It, I, the moment I let go of that and just went, oh, okay. And it's just like the expansion just happened, right? Yeah, and every person and so is different. Like the their piece. design yeah. determines this. For some people, it's more like they meant to free flow. So those are the people who should never like script their videos and prepare overly their programs. They just meant to essentially channel it kind of in a moment. And that's how their magic comes through. There are some designs right. which actually require the other side. 
they need to have one foot in front of the other kind of a process and a system and a strategy that's very clear because that's what gives them safety and security to then be able to shine. And there's everything in between. Those are sort of two extremes. So in my opinion, anytime, I mean, if you know somebody, that's right, they can just pay you essentially because you're awesome. But when uh, you're trying to market that and you're bringing this out into the world, upgrading your messaging and your marketing to speak to the person who's interested not in this is the, the solution to this little problem, but something else. Like, for example, the way I teach it is vision-based marketing. So you're focusing on the aspirational identity and a vision of the client instead of on their problem. You still, of course, have to know their problem. And this is why we do a huge amount of market research before we release anything, because you want to utilize the words that your clients use instead of your own. So if your clients, um, let's say, say, uh, I'm so confused, why can't I find a man and there's all these unavailable men around me? and I really can't wait to finally do it and I'm afraid the clock is ticking and I need to be in relationship now and I'm thinking <coughs> maybe something wrong with me and how do I fix it? That's very different than you saying, you need to upgrade your internal perception and embody universal goddess love because that is not going to sell high end to that client. So something needs right. to be adjusted in order to actually understand how your clients are thinking, what they're saying, and then utilize that in how you're presenting. But then what you're presenting, that depends on your design. So kind of like that's the marketing part and then how it looks. You know, I have some clients who have six months programs where they just bear, basically know like this is my process. And then everything within that program is somewhat free flow just to get the client sort of you know, through that process as they vibrating with them. I have some programs that my clients have that like really specific, this is what you do, this is your homework, this is how you need to apply it and, and so on. And then make sure you send me back the homework because I need to see it before we go to the next step. That's also important if that's how you're meant to do it because the people we have contracted to do the work with, this is what they need. And this is also a very important part of the messaging is that we need to talk to what they need, not whatever we know that they need. Because what we know is because we're experts, we know what they really need. They don't know that. That's why they want to hire us. So we want to talk to what they already know that they need, but not to what we know is the real solution is. That's something we can allude to and lead to. But the initial marketing connection point from the messaging energetics is always based on vibratory resonance with the type of person you're talking to not with where you know they can be once they work with you. Right. Yeah. And I, I can't, I can't add anything to that. That's, that's so, that's right on the money because I, I talk to people all the time and, and there are two things that they, they do badly. One is they, their website is about them and not about their client. And the other is that they talk about their process instead of the outcome. And the process is often just, you know, described in words that their clients, their, their prospects don't know or don't understand exactly. or don't want. Exactly. Yeah. It's like and thinking so, about, yeah. you know, crystalline level and then this radiates into this thing and that thing. And, you know, it would be better if, let's say, you understood what is it for. So this is what I usually ask my clients for every single beautiful thing that they sent me that this is what I do you know, then every single one is what is in it for them? Like from their perspective, what is it that they gonna get? Oh, well with that, they gonna make better decisions. Okay, with that, well, they going to have um, clarity. That's like clarity in what? Well, they going to know for sure if they want something or not. Okay, that's better. So it's kind of like always taking it from the large terms into something mm -hmm. very specific. It's much better to say, something very small than something too vague and big. And this is where I think a lot of spiritual people get confused because they like, well, I can't shrink my super awesome big program, everything I do into this thing. Like I do so much more than that. And yes, and that's why you charge so much more and that's why you have to embody the rest. But you still have to start from something that gets their attention. And that's why in the way that I work with people, I always talk about where are you going? What do you want? What is the vision? So when you're trying to sell something, the trying to sell energetics, it's already, there's something that I need to do to get something. 
and that's not abundance, that's scarcity. So what we do is we shift into, okay, it already is, because in the quantum field, 100% possible, 100% of the time, it already exists somewhere. Who is she? She is like me who already has it, who already accomplished that. How does it work? What, what is her experience? And then we connect the two dots. The future self, that's what I have, the conscious future method. That's essentially utilizing that to create in the now. So then you're not striving to get somewhere because if you're striving, that means you haven't gotten there and all you're telling universe is you haven't gotten there and universe does not speak English, it speaks frequency, so it just reads you. So you want to be in the right frequency in order to attract what you want and that means you cannot focus on the things you don't have. And as soon as we're focusing on how do I get clients, you're not going to get clients or if you do, it's going to be really hard. So in wealth energetics and uplifted messaging, you know the client's already there, you know they already exist, and some future version of you already has contact with those clients. So all you need to do is vibrate as that and try to kind of remember, what have I said? Like, if I was her, what would I say from that place? And then from that place, you're resonating very different frequency. You're connecting to where those people desire to be, and you're also acknowledging the work that they have done. Because anytime we're speaking to the problem, we're essentially speaking to the lower level client. You know, you are there, you're in suffering, you struggle with this, and I have the solution for you. That's a lower level message. High level message would be more like, I know that you done so much work in this, and you are now wondering um, how is it that it's not quite showing up the way you would like. And you have accomplished a lot, and you have done this, and you have done that, and you know you're a badass person, like you got this, but at the same time, you kind of secretly wonder what's going on in there, that this thing is still not there, and maybe you'll be a little embarrassed if people knew that this is going on on the inside. Now, that's a high-level message. So if this could be woven in correctly, you're now speaking to the right individual. And, of course, there's much more to, to that than just words, but the energy of each person is unique because of their gift. So the message is also unique. There are some marketing rules, I guess you can call them, that we do want to utilize, but we want to customize them to you. So you're not just sounding like every freaking body else out there, like a templated message, because that doesn't sell. People are tired about that. Like this is just mm -hmm. exhausting to see the same thing clogging up the internet. So it's not about creating more content. You know, like, how do I create, you know, one post a day and everything? You can write one post. Like, I've had posts when I wouldn't publish for a month. I published one post, and it was like $150,000 income came from that, or 200000 from one post. That's because if you do it correctly, you resonate correctly. And yes, of course, you have to nurture your audience and all of that, but, like, posting inspirational quotes and pretty pictures and things like that, none, none of that does anything. And if, let's say, somebody looks at your... Uh, social media presence and they don't know what you do and they see your lovely dog and they see you know your family and they just see that you're a happy mom or something like that that's not gonna help you scale your business into six figures and beyond but if they look at your page and they see your dog and they see your family but they also see you're super serious about what you're doing and you're explaining it very clearly and you're consistently showing up doing your business and your tagline says it and your bio says it and so on now they will take you seriously and that's even for referral that's not even you know marketing directly it's like if somebody says hey you know you gotta go check out susan then they go look at susan's page and they go i don't know what susan does why 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 am i sent to susan versus oh wow she's interesting let me click on this little video this little video this little video. now i'm kind of like meeting susan and i get why i was referred to her and i kind of maybe want to contact her on messenger and then see what happens that's what we want yeah you are very well spoken <laughs> and you are saying absolutely i'm like yep that's that's so true it's so true guys i really hope you're listening because she is dropping gold at your feet right now i i swear to you you will pay lots of money for this information anywhere else and you won't get all of it because this is this is amazing stuff and so you really want to listen i would if you are if you are doing a business in the spiritual realm you're going to want to listen to this podcast on repeat because this stuff is awesome 
And Eugenia, you are just amazing. So is there anything else that you feel like they need to know before we wrap up? Yeah, one thing I would say is that when you're at below six figures and you're having a dream of someday I will be there, it might feel kind of far away and that you have to learn a lot and everything. And you might have to learn some business and marketing strategy. But what you're meant to bring is already there. And you would not have that dream if it did not exist somewhere in a quantum field. So that's a really important thing to get that whatever you envisioning and dreaming about, that actually is true for you. And it's true for you specifically, and it's true for you now. How you get there, that's up to you as in the shortcut, how much you're willing to, I guess, invest in yourself and your personal upgrade and hiring the coach that's going to help you be more you, not just teach you some strategy, but actually help you uncover you, and to grow internally to expand your wealth container to create that. That's how I have clients that came to me with like $100 appointments they were charging and then they're selling $7,000 programs in two months or three months. Or maybe they were like in $350 appointments or they had like a $2,000 <coughs> program and now they're saying $15,000 programs in four months after working with me. That's not because I change something in who they are. It's because I help them shed what they're not so that they can fully get permission to be who they are. Because we are all magnificent beings. We all can have abundance and wealth. It's all here for us. So uh, I have one of the uh, webinars of mine in soulstrategywebinar.com. That's where I talk a lot about more of the structural component of what I just mentioned, how you can see examples of my clients. You can see like regular human beings that actually like did something and then changed their whole life and now, you know, work maybe three days a week and generate 10 times more money than they did before simply by utilizing this process and the work that we did. So you can understand how you don't need a huge email list and you know many things that you think you need and all these strategies. You just need one or two things that you do correctly <laughs> for yourself and consistently doing it. And this is how you can scale to 10 you know, figure amounts, months, you know, so you, you can actually have, you know, 10,000 a month or more without feeling like you're selling your soul or working so hard that you're dying. So that's really, really important part. And of course, you know, on my website, Transcension Gate, you can check everything there. There's so many videos there that are for free that you can watch that they give you so much knowledge on this topic. That would be really cool for you to learn. Awesome. So to say that website again. Transcensiongate.com. And the webinar mm -hmm. okay. is and soulstrategywebinar.com. Uh -huh. Soulstrategywebinar.com. Okay. And we're going to include both of those links in the show notes, guys. So you'll, you'll have them there. And uh, Eugenia, this is, this has been amazing. Y you know, blows me away. And that's hard to do. Just so you know, I've been studying business since I was 17 years old. So, uh, you know, that's that's like 35 years to blow me away like this is pretty impressive. So I am I am floored. I am impressed. I, I guys, I'm telling you, you got to listen to this one over and over and over again and go visit the website. Go watch the you know, go go get the free materials and, and find out what's going on there and check out her services, because I got to tell you, the energy is there. The energy is totally there. So I'm so glad. So so what you don't know, Eugenia, <laughs> is that uh, when you're – so I get, I, I get probably 15 or 20 people asking to come on the podcast for every one person that I put on the podcast. And uh, we usually book well in advance – and like nine months in advance. And when your offer, you know, when your promotion came through saying, hey, you know, put her on the podcast, I, I called up my assistant immediately and said, get her on the podcast as soon as humanly possible, because I could feel it, right? I could feel it. And, and that never happens. <laughs> okay. Like, like, and Jules will, Jules will tell yeah. you, you know, and it just never happens. No. So, uh, <laughs> you know, you are living proof that you are walking your talk. And so <laughs> oh, I'm great. I'm very yes. happy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So this is, uh, this has been amazing and, uh, make sure you go check her out guys. Uh, we, uh, usually do a wrap up on this 
And uh, so normally it's a Kellyism, but you had an amazingly <laughs> funny ism that you gave us before Eugenia-ism. we started recording today. It was a Eugenia-ism. 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 <laughs> yeah. Do not so, run so tell, us, tell us what you heard. Wisdom chasing you. Because we all speed up in attempt to push, to make it happen, to get there somewhere. And in quantum creation, you have to be present in the now. (laughs) So that's a really difficult thing for people. And I always tell my clients, don't run faster than the wisdom that is chasing you because you want to be aligned with your wisdom. (laughs) That's how you're going to (laughs) create. If you run faster, (laughs) not going to work for you. So don't run faster than your wisdom that's chasing you. That's awesome. I'm so stealing <laughs> that and using it. and Absolutely. I love it. I love it. And it's so true. It is it so is. true. It is. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you so much, Eugenia, for coming on um, and being part of the podcast. Um, you can also catch her on her podcast, which is Conscious Coaches on a Mission, wherever you des- decide to listen to podcast on. So, well, that's all that we have for this week, folks. We'll have all the information um, in the show notes for you. And so tune in next time when Kelly adds another chapter into your guide to energy, magic, and the spirit world. I'm Jules here with Kelly Sparta and Eugenia Oganova. And you have been listening to Spirit Sherpa. So long, everybody. Bye. Bye.